Well, we're your hurricane headquarters. Grant's here with a check of the tropics this morning. Staying busy during hurricane season. It, it, you know, it's, it's more like what we would see in August than Jeez. what we would expect in late June. I mean, the activity is crazy out there. Looking at these tropical waves coming across the Atlantic, it, it really does. We, we call it the, the wave train or the, the tropical wave train. It's just lining up there across the Atlantic. And then we have another developing low pressure system, Invest 95L now in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, the two other systems besides potential tropical cyclone 2 don't have a great chance of development. The one in the Gulf of Mexico, a 30% chance that it develops. It'll be tracking toward the Texas coast, so not a concern for us. And these two others aren't a concern for us either. However, potential tropical cyclone 2 does look like it becomes tropical storm Bonnie here within the next day or so. It's moving quickly to the west at 23 miles per hour. Sustained winds are at tropical storm strength. It's just not very organized. It hasn't technically become a tropical system yet. It's getting there, though. We're seeing some development this morning. We do have tropical storm watches and warnings in effect for the Windward Islands, Trinidad, Tobago, and then back into Curacao, where they've got a tropical storm watch. Forecast to become a tropical storm potentially as early as today. Likely remains a tropical storm before it moves into the southwestern Caribbean, at which point forecast to become a Category 1 hurricane before making landfall somewhere in Central America over the weekend into early next week.